Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about playing in the wind. So specifically today we're going to talk about crosswinds, the left to right wind and the right to left. So if you watch the previous videos, you'll see how to play the ball into wind and how to play the ball downwind. And we're now going to talk about probably the two hardest shots. So I've just got seven out here, I've got the pin set up a couple of 50 yards away. And we're going to sort of hit a few standard shots, and I'm going to change everything. We'll just see exactly what the wind does to the ball. Straight away, the wind is typically going to take that ball right to left, and it's going to finish left of my target. If that's the shot that we're trying to stop, what could we do to try and override that wind? So, first thing I would do, the simplest thing I could do, is aim my ball to the right. So, I'm going to aim my shot probably right side of that green and see if we can use that wind rather than fight it, use the wind to get the ball finishing towards our target. So we're going to aim ourselves further right and get that ball up the right side of that green. And you can see when I start it up the right, it's got a chance of coming back to the left onto target rather than starting at the target and moving away. Even though I've aimed that ball up the right, it's still probably had too much draw spin on the ball, coupled with the wind going that way, so it's still not finished on my target. So what else can I do to override that wind off the right? I'm going to try and fade the ball into that wind. So I'm going to deliberately spin the ball, try and neutralize that wind. Fade-wise, I'm going to aim myself in the same sort of spot, maybe slightly straighter to target. But I'm going to really try and feel like I've come across the ball a little bit more to try and put some cut spin on it. That's going to help neutralise, hopefully, how much that wind moves that ball right to left. So we'll try to cut spin that one. You can see the wind's still had an effect, but certainly less shape than before. So I've got more chance there again of hitting that target, hitting the green. There's two options really. You can use it, or you can try and go against it. And I think the easiest and the first thing you would try to do one is to try and use that wind bit. You've got less to do to your swing, you've got less to manipulate, and you've got a much easier shot overall. So as long as you aim yourself far enough to the right to allow the wind, you can still hit that target probably very consistently. The other option, if you don't feel comfortable out there, say there's water over to the right side or there's trouble, you can try and manipulate the ball so you're going to try and fade the ball back into, the, into that wind. Try and neutralise the amount of movement right to left on that ball by cutting it in. Two options, both kind of feasible. One probably takes a bit more practice and a little bit more trial and error. The other is a little bit simpler and you can sort of use it in a straight away. So now if we flip that wind around and we have a left to right wind, the same amount, about 20 mile an hour, you've now got the same two options. You can aim yourself up the left and you can sort of allow play for the wind. And I think for right handers, because our typical shot that we maybe struggle with more often is that slice to the right. This is probably the wind that we're most afraid of. A left to right wind that's going to kind of push us further offline, further into trouble. So I think for right handers certainly this is where we're more likely to just aim as far left as we can and just let the wind hit it and move it back to the target. So that's your first option and let's give it a go. Just play it up the left, let the wind hit it. We can move that back to target quite easily. No kind of need to manipulate my swing, just swinging it as I would normally. And quite often with that, you can swing more freely and probably have a better shot because of it. Now let's see if we can try and hold one against that wind. So we're going to try and draw the ball into that left to right wind to try and neutralise that flight a little bit more. So we're going to aim pretty much at the target, but I'm going to feel like I'm deliberately trying to draw the ball left for that target. Try and counteract that wind. It's a strong wind. We've got still the wind blowing left to right, but it's got a chance of hitting our target. You can see there where it started straight to the target, it has moved but nowhere near as much as before. It's a much, much harder shot, I think, to try and draw the ball into the wind. It requires quite, depending on how strong the wind is, it requires quite an exaggerated feeling. But if you can try and work on both those ways, kind of either going with it or going against it, it gives you options to try and get yourself onto the green and giving yourself a good luck. So when you next out there, give them both a go. Hopefully that's giving you some good ideas to take to the course of the next time. And um, if you really did like that, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.